UK business. Speaking exclusively to CNBC TV18, he said the breathing space is vanishing and he hopes that the UK government will take a decision on funding very soon. Listen in. I think uh, there's a new government, so we'll wait for the new government to be in place and uh, we will continue the conversations that we've had with the previous governments and I think uh, we will look forward to an early resolution because obviously uh, with high energy costs and uh, the economic situation in Europe, uh, the business which is inherently fragile uh, will struggle uh, going forward unless we take some calls very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would imagine that these are difficult calls that will have to be taken. Uh, but uh, given the precarious position that the UK uh, government finds itself at this point in time and the economy finds itself, uh, uh, it is fiscally constrained, uh, you know, is there hope or uh, confidence that there could perhaps be a resolution by way of funding coming in uh, from the UK government? So, Shireen, there are two important things to keep in mind. Firstly, we are a very important part of the value chain in the UK. Right? So it's not just about Tata Steel. We supply more than 50% of the steel used by the auto industry in UK. We supply more than 50% of the steel used by many construction companies in the UK. Uh, we supply a lot of the steel uh, sub used by the packaging companies in UK. So we are a very important part of the value chain in UK. And uh, hence, there, is, there should be an interest in beyond Tata Steel's interests. Right? So that is one part. The second part is if you look at governments across Europe, uh, governments are supporting industry in this transition uh, to a greener future, right? This transition cannot be done without government support. So there is policy support which is coming in in Europe and hopefully UK will also have the same policy support. The second part is the government support for the expenditure that you need to incur to transition into a greener future. And uh, our submission to the government has also been that uh, what we have submitted is a business plan which can help Tata Steel transition into a greener future, but obviously it can't be done without support from the government. So I think that's where we are. I think so there is, from our point of view, there is enough logic, uh, but obviously the government has to see uh, the logic from their perspective as well. And of course, we are a very important part of the Welsh economy. Uh, you know, we are one of the biggest employers in the UK. Uh, and it's not just the direct jobs that we create, it's the indirect jobs. And typically in the steel industry, for every steel industry job, there are four to five indirect jobs uh, which are created. Uh, yes, I, uh, you know, you talked about the employment uh, generated on account of uh, uh, the business uh, that you run and, of course, the value chain uh, implications as well. Uh, but as part of this business plan that you have submitted uh, and given the current predicament uh, that uh, the business finds itself in, what is the kind of financial support that you expect from the UK government to be able to turn this around? No, I, I, I don't want to get into specifics of that, but generally the... Uh, ask from most steel companies to their governments across Europe is at least 50% of the capex that needs to be spent needs to be supported by the government. On top of that, there needs to be support on OPEX to the extent of uh, the differential in energy costs when you move from the current energy sources to new energy sources. I think these are the fundamental principles, not just for Tata Steel, but pretty much all steel companies in Europe have been talking to their governments about. And so that's, uh, uh, that's as much as I can say now without getting into the specifics. I understand. But, uh, you know, at this point in time, uh, is there any possibility that the India business, your India business, may also uh, have to fund, uh, you know, the UK business in any form or fashion? Is that at all a possibility at this point in time? I think uh, the uh, position we've taken and which we've been saying for some time is, uh, each of our businesses need to stand on its own. Uh, we have supported the business uh, for a long time. Uh, we have invested a lot of money over the years in trying to keep the business going. Uh, but I think now it's time uh, for other stakeholders also to uh, chip in. Mm -hmm. uh, and I understand that you know you are still in the process of uh, uh, negotiations and conversations and there is a new government, but is there any uh, indication of uh, when a decision is likely to be taken on this front, uh, how much runway uh, do you have at this point in time as far as the business is concerned? Uh, you know, by when would you like the government to take a call on this? And if there isn't going to be uh, the transition uh, package that you seek, uh, what then? Uh, you know, will it be easy to find a buyer uh, in an environment like this? So, Shireen, obviously the uh, time available is... Uh... Uh, depleting by the day because uh, we had 
uh, year when the steel prices were good, the spreads were good, the business could stand on its own. That ga gave us some breathing space. But that breathing space is rapidly vanishing because of the high energy costs in Europe and uh, the, uh, you know, the macroeconomic conditions in Europe and UK. Right? So we don't have much time. Uh, uh, you know, so we need to get to this decision sooner than later, and I think that's been a submission to the earlier governments, and there'll be a submission to the new government. Uh, what are the options that we will uh, pursue or discuss when we reach there? All right. Well, Mr. Narendran, then hoping that uh, there is some resolution out there. Last couple of quarterly numbers as well, we've asked him this question. And uh, let's see whether or not the UK government, since now we have a new government in place, they can come up with a resolution. The total cost to convert to green steel will be around 3 billion odd. And they want the UK government to fund half of that. So maybe next week when the management joined us, joins us yet again, post uh, their results, we'll try to get an answer on that as well. Well, time to move on then. Real estate sales well across the country have been boosted.